Peak is back, ladies and gentlemen. The Washington Capitals announced today, on our Lord and Savior Alex Ovechkin's birthday, that the Black Screaming Eagle jerseys are coming back for the 50th anniversary. We got that, plus training camp roster breakdowns on this edition of Caps Chat. Aura at Caps Training Camp is now up plus a million. The Screaming Eagle black jerseys have returned. This decision was met by basically near universal praise by every fan online, including non-Caps fans, which just goes to show how bad our current home jerseys are and how clean the black ones are. Now, unfortunately, we're only going to get to see these jerseys for six games, which is just like such a tease. It's unbelievable. If it was me, honestly, I would make these the permanent home jerseys and go back to the retro white Screaming Eagle jerseys as the permanent away jerseys and then hell you could even bring back the reverse retros as your third jerseys the red Screaming Eagle ones that would be a perfect setup just make the Screaming Eagle the permanent logo just completely flushed like the 2000s rebrand the jersey sucked the logo sucked every alternate we had was significantly better just go back to the Screaming Eagle it's just so much infinitely better than what we've had for the last two decades moving on to training camp we have some interesting roster notes uh the first one being that Nick Backstrom and he J. Oshie are both on the training camp roster. Uh, they're not expected to skate, but they do have to be on there since they are technically under contract. It's not expected that either of them are going to certainly start the season playing for the Caps uh, or potentially even play at all this season. Maybe Oshi has an outside chance of coming back at some point. I feel like Backstrom is pretty much done, which is just, it's so sad. I, I hope they're both around the team because they've been such critical parts of, you know, the Stanley Cup run and, you know, the peak years. They're both fan favorites. I hope they're around this organization for a long time uh, because, you know, they've really embraced the city and we've embraced them. And even though it's over, you know, I think back and remember all of the incredible times we had with them. As far as the rest of the trade camp roster, there were a few other notable rookies who made it. Tarek Parasak and Leon Mugli both made it from the rookie camp roster, along with Ilya Protus, Zach Funk, Alex Ozdelev, and Cam Allen. Uh, all of them will be interesting to watch. I don't expect any of them are going to make the opening night roster, but I might do a breakdown of the biggest camp battles to watch out for in a few days. So if you want that, go ahead and like and subscribe on this video lets me know to keep doing more videos like this but yeah caps camp starts in a few days i might try and go a day or two maybe over the weekend so let me know if any of you are planning to go and see our caps at training camp